Okay, so can you guys hear me? Thumbs up? Yeah, okay. Ladies, I'm not gonna lie to you. I am so nervous that I just took some pre-workout and I took some CBD oil. Like what the hell is wrong with me? I'm shaking. This is the first time I've ever, ever done a live Zoom. Um, I'm honored that Yvonne even asked me. I don't even know where to look. I, I'm honored that Yvonne even asked me to come on to share some tips and tricks with you guys. I hope I bring you guys value, but please know that I'm extremely nervous. I'm shaking. Um, I do stutter. So if I, yeah, I'm doing it now, I apologize. I'm going to honor your time. I know it's late. I know a lot of us have children. They want to get them to bed or dinner. So let's get right into it. My name is Yolanda Dinelli, and everyone knows me as Yoli D. I just turned 42 years old, and I have six children. They're all mine, ages 23, 21, 14, 13, 9, and 7. I, uh, I'm married, happily married to my Italian stallion husband, who's out in the living room listening and supporting me, and I live in Ventura, California, born and raised in San Fernando Valley in a ta little town called Arlita which is right next to Pacoima, home of Richie Valens. So let's just dive right into it. And Yvonne wanted me to talk to you guys about a little bit about branding and how to be you, unique, uniquely you on social media. So here we go. I wanna say, honestly, the first thing you need to do, and some of the stuff I'm sure you've already heard, and I apologize, but it's gonna be a little refresher. And then um, towards the end, I will go ahead and show you my uh, social media, my IG, yeah, my IG platform to give you some um, a visual of what I'm talking about. But the first thing, and I'm looking at my notes, so you see me looking to the left here. You have to find out uh, who you are and what makes you unique, because we are in an industry with Color Street where we're we are many, many stylists. So you need to know how you're different from the next color street stylist. Do we have things in common? We do. We sell the same products, correct? We get the same training. What's different are gonna be things like, what are your interests? What, uh, what are your hobbies? What are your passions? Literally, what do you nerd out about? So for me, when you come onto my social media, right off the bat, I'm all about trucker hats, fanny packs. I love my crystals. I'm a tea and water snob. Um, I love, I, fitness is everything to me. So those are the things that I put on my IG bio so that when you come to mine, my little, there, you kind of get a sneak peek of what to expect. So the first thing is literally write down five to 10 things. I know you guys heard this before, but I didn't do it. And I was kind of confused until I wrote it down and it's the things that you literally like nerd out about. Because in this industry, you have to realize who you are because you're gonna get super exhausted trying to be someone else. Do not be a watered down version of someone else. You are special and you have something to offer that I promise you. So with that said, you also, and this is my advice, you have to find two different social social media playgrounds now this is going to be a place where obviously you're going to grow your community but you have to feel comfortable going on these platforms it's something that you know you're going to be consistent and show up to something that um is, is fun to you so for me for me personally ig is everything to me my ig stories is where i open up to my community and they pretty much know a lot about me, a lot about my family. The second is Facebook. I really use Facebook, to be honest with you, to go on for trainings. And I kicked myself in the butt that 14 months ago when I did start with Color Street, that I didn't start my VIP page. I literally, ladies, just started it a week ago. And I'm slowly adding people. And the only one really like commenting is my mother-in-law. But it's OK. It's, I'm going to treat it like a baby. I'm gonna nurture it and I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if it works for me. Also with that said, just I believe in bio, bio individuality. What works for one may not work for another. I have a rock star, rock star girl on my team 
IG is not it for her. She'll tell you, she, she, it's just not her platform. You know what it is? You give her 300 sets and you send her out the door, she's going to come back with no sets. And that is her, that where, that's where she rocks it. So two social media platforms where you can grow community, where you can live and where you can share, because if you're, you can't be everything to everyone. I mean, if you're trying to build all these social media platforms, you're going to burn like a burnt croissant. I'm telling you, it's, it's a lot. And then on top of that, on your everyday life, it's a lot. So, um, again, the platform is somewhere where you're going to feel cons where you can be consistent. Cause I'm going to tell you this, if you do not show up to your reality show and that's what it is, your IG is legit. Your reality show people scroll to, to find an outlet of their everyday life. And what I find, and I, and the things that I say today, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Everyone can run their business however they want, but I, I, I see a pattern with certain things and I feel like we're a team and the best way for all of us to grow is to share our experiences, share our thoughts. So we can, we can pretty much build an empire. Sometimes, or not sometimes, a lot of the times I notice color street stylists will go on their IG and you hardly see their face. They really don't share their day. All they're doing is their commercial color street, color street, color street. You're not like color street. Color street is something you nerd out about. So I would be in order to start a community and conversation, you have to be willing to open up and share your everyday, your everyday life and then leave breadcrumbs in regards to color street because nobody, I'm telling you, it doesn't matter what, what industry you're in. No one likes to be sold to at all. People love to see what you're doing. They, they love value. I always love to give like tips and tricks and things like that. And it's funny what people find interesting. When we remodeled this beach house, I really didn't think anyone would give two shits, sorry, two craps about it. I was flooded with messages. Where did you buy your, you know, your sink? Where did you buy this? Da, da, da. That started um, conversation. And with that conversation, it led up to, oh yeah, by the way, um, what are those polish strip things I always see in your nails? So you want to give value. You want to give tips before you come in with an uppercut and ask someone to buy something for you. You want them to feel welcome into your space. You want them to feel like they're part of, they're part of your life. So, um, da, da, da. also I would say this, now I'm going to jump into how I advertise, uh, my, my polish strips with my pictures. Okay, so on my IG, I, again, I leave breadcrumbs. I'm very um, animated with my hands. So I'll talk and I'll get DMs like, what's that color that you're wearing on your hands? Or if I'm showing what water, like I, I'm drinking for the day, again, I'm holding it. I'm not talking about it, but they definitely can see the bright colors. I'm one of the girls that I just love bright colors. My, my tribe already knows that I love to put acrylics on my nails. And then the polish strips with a loud color and or just wear um, them on my bare nails. That's where I feel my strength is. I think um, for me personally, I just feel like I could talk about that um, all day. So oh, hold on. I just lost track of what I was trying to say. Oh my God, guys, I'm so sorry. I lost track about what I, where I was at. Oh, um, it's how I uh, showcase my nails. Now on my... So I give value before I throw that uppercut and ask for them to buy. Now, I don't do it all the time, but I'm constantly, because you are your business card, my nails are constantly done. I have a routine where everyone knows already every Sunday night, I rip either I'm taking off the set and putting on a new one, or I'm doing something with my nails. And on Monday, I don't say anything. They just see me with the, with the brand new set. I'm already advertising doing something in my house. I might post like a, like a, you know, like a little selfie, but I already have that routine that every Sunday, that's my night. I already know that I'm going to go ahead and get my nails, do my nails. And the other thing I would say is this is your, 
this is your market. You're selling your nails. So just take time to invest in, and I know it sounds silly, and I'm not trying to like, you know, bash anyone. Clean, like clean your cuticles, give yourself a hand scrub, invest in some lotion when you take your picture so they look nice and crisp. You know, you can also use apps, let the apps do the work for you. You know, I have big man hands. I have dinosaur hands and I'm 42 years old and my hands don't look the way they did when they're 20. So do I use an app to kind of freshen it up? Yes, I do. I don't do it to the point where it looks like I was just born, where it's so like perfect, like it just ironed my skin. Like just enough to like cover up the wrinkles, just so, you know, it's, it's like eye candy when people look at it. So I want to see if I could um, share my screen. I'm going to show you guys just a little snippet of how I share my stories. So it's okay. Host disabled participant screen sharing. Okay. Yvonne, can I, can I share it, babe? Sure. Just tell me how to give you that permission. It says host disabled participant screen sharing. Anybody know? Do you know, I see you on there. Does, uh, does Yvonne have to enable me? Yeah, she so, should. Uh, um it's under the meeting meeting settings section. settings so so go to those little triple dots and then when Elaine you say to everyone the co-host okay i don't know where to i don't see three little dots i where think if you're on your computer you could also yeah. click on share content and then it should pop up and say um sure. allow like multiple people all right. Sorry, ladies. Okay, I, I think I did it. Give it a try now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Cool. Is it finished? Okay. It's it's going. Can you guys there see you my my Instagram feed? Yep. You're good. You're good. Okay. So really quick, this is what I do. And again, I'm I'm gonna make this really quick. So I'm so freaking nervous. Okay. So. As you can tell here, my name, and then this is what I was talking about, figuring out who I am. So when you come, you know I'm a mom of six, I'm a polished trip gypsy, I'm living that beach life, I'm a fitness junkie, self-care hippie, because I'm a tree hugger, I am a water snob, and I love my tea. So that's, this is my little, you know, get to know me. What I have been doing with my pictures, and I, all this is like my family, my kids, so that I, that's what I share. It's a big part of my life. But let me give you an example. Okay, here we see a picture and I and the, co and the comment says, I haven't been this excited about the weekend since last weekend. Okay, I'm over here with my little summer outfit. I'm holding my fizz, that's what I was drinking. Clearly you can see my nails, but I, I didn't say one thing about color street. Okay, so I, this is what I mean when you, when you give breadcrumbs. Um, did I put anything down? Okay, and then I went ahead and I kind of created my own um, hashtags um, that incorporate what's going on behind the scenes. Ladies, I will tell you this, okay? There are days where I don't want to take a picture. I'm going to tell you a little secret on this. Everyone knows already because I'm so transparent that I wear tape-ins, I get my eyelashes done. It's not a secret, okay? This was during the pandemic. Well, we're still in it, but you know, in the beginning, and my um, tape-ins were gone, and I looked like a bald, a bald eagle. This hair here was $14 ponytail from Amazon. I slipped that bad boy in my hair. I didn't want my face to show, so I just literally got my phone, put it on the bench in front of me, and um, do I have it? I have a remote, which you can't tell, right? behind here. Now, if you buy a tripod, it comes with a remote and you can uh, link it to your, your phone as a boot Bluetooth. And I look at the camera and I start pushing my thumb and it'll take a, as many pictures as I want. Okay. And this picture um, got me quite a few sales and I wasn't selling anything. So like I said, there, there could be days where you just don't want to show your face. Feel bad for her. Perfect example how you can still take a picture and not display your face. So oh that, my gosh, kid. Okay. Uh -uh. That is not a toy. Go put that back. Um, this picture here, 
uh, I am talking about um, my rank advancement, but I want to show you something what I did with this picture. If you guys even knew the chaos that was going on in the background, it's freaking hilarious. But people don't see that. People are looking at, at this picture. So what I have, I'm telling us, I'm trying to tell a story. I'm trying to tell you guys everything that's happening to me in that one month in this picture. So we know I have, I'm a color street stylist. Here's the actual box that you get. It comes in the mail. That's why I have all this mail here. I just threw on a quick outfit. I have my yeah. circle of excellence charm. I have my, my little pin on, my nails are done. It took a few, to, again, see my hands? Right behind there, I'm holding a remote. I'm just taking pictures. Now, I'm on there and I'm trying to let the people that are watching it feel my energy because that's exactly how I felt when I got that pin and I got that bracelet. I was feeling it. So I sit there and I'll literally, I have the, I have the uh, remote in my hand and I just start angling myself and taking pictures. And sometimes it's like 60 photos and that out of 60 photos, that, that was the shot for me. So I posted that. Okay, um, let's see. Again, I am talking about um, what a blessing it's been, but I'm also, again, showcasing a bunch of uh, things that are going on in my life for that month. Now, I, I will tell you this. As a Color Street stylist, we're all selling the same product, Paula's Trips. But in reality, you're selling yourself, and this is the bonus that comes with it. So I would highly suggest that you do start looking into um, apps. Let, apps. let apps do the magic for you. So here, once again, this whole feed, I won't read the whole thing. I'm just telling everyone that I'm 42 years old. I haven't put on a pair of roller skates since I was eight. I was inspired to skate again because during the pandemic, people just didn't have anything to do. My daughter is uh, used to be in the roller derby and she's teaching me. So in this picture, you click, and I'm using an app to kind of give it this effect. I have roller skates on. I have these like striped leggings. My nails are done. I'm holding watermelon because I kind of like, like the vibe between the, the color of my nails and the watermelon. I'm showing people like I'm, I'm hydrating. I have my glasses. Once again, my nails are, are, I guess you could say like they're just a pop, they're just, they're so noticeable, but I'm not talking about my nails. This picture here, I got so many um, DMs talk with different topics. Where'd you get your glasses? I love those nails. Do you have that set? Oh my God, where'd you get your leggings? Shoot, I want to roller skate. I can't tell you how many girls want to roller skate now that they saw the skates, but you know what happened? I just opened Pandora's box to communication with women on different topics, which, which again, builds trust and builds the tribe. So later on, when I give them information, when they're like, oh, where'd you buy your skates? I don't, I don't just say, oh, I bought them at Skate Pro. I literally will go get the link and send it to them. So it's one click away. So one day when they come back and I'm asking them, hey, you know, would you like to try or whatever, you know, whatever your, um, however you sell it, they're going to be like, you know what, I want to, I trust Yoli. Like she shares her content. And then when I ask her a question, she doesn't just send me a thumbs up or an emoji. She actually takes her time and she, she talks to me. I talk to everybody in my DMs. I know things about women that I have never met that would make you cry. And we have conversation and that's where I feel where I find my, my lifers. You see, I, I, it's not like I, I have 1300. There's women I hit us that are killing it, but I have women that come and constantly continue, continue to buy. And I feel it's because we, we have a, we have, um, a mutual, uh, respect for each other and we get along and we vibe off each, off each other through conversation. Now I am, okay. I am trying to brand my pictures. I'm trying to kind of think out of the box and this picture here for me, let me push play on it. It has like a 3D effect. Now this picture, I am talking about Color Street. I'm super stoked that, you know, mind blown that I hit director and I want, it, I want my following that are watching me every day and watching me grow as a team, see that I'm actually, I'm, I'm doing the damn thing. And look at, look what I got rewarded with, this bomb luggage, right? Again, doing something that I have, try, I'm try, trying to think out of the box. I'm trying to use, I guess like the eye candy 
to get women to think about the possibility of joining my team and becoming a stylist. Um, on this picture, I got a lot of questions. What app are you using? Uh, what's that set you have on? Where did you get your leggings? So again, I'm opening Pandora's box to conversation. Now this app that I'm using, and I'll let you guys know all the apps that I'm using so you can go ahead and um, give them a try. If you, you guys, I go on and I invest and I'll go ahead and I'll pay X amount of dollars so I have it for a year. And then if I don't know how to use it, I play around with it and then I go to like YouTube University and I'll type it in and you'll find thousands of videos of people explaining to you how to use the app. But if you can, I just feel like your picture is your um, uh, business card too. You wanna get people excited about what you're doing. So this is what I'm doing. I, I think I'm gonna go ahead and continue with it because a lot of people have been asking questions and I kind of feel like I'm branding myself um, with, this, with this look. Uh, a couple of the apps that I'm currently using can you hear me, Dean? Yeah, I was gonna say people asked about what the oh. tripod is actually. Oh shoot. Okay, I, I can't see the comments, so let me let me get out of here. Hold on. Oh, sorry, ladies. Let me get out of here. I will I get my tripod from I, I don't know why I can't I get my tripod from Amazon. Once we're done with um, the call, I'll go ahead and link the exact one on our uh, Boss Bay page and you can go ahead and there's a plethora, there's so many. Um, right now I don't have one, it broke, and there's been times where I'll stack up four or five boxes of cereal, and I'll just, <laughs> you guys would die if you knew the stuff that I do to get a picture and where I've hung this little phone. Um, this is all I use, and one of, the, one of the biggest tips, and you can see it, you see how my phone, you see all those marks, okay? If your phone camera in the back has any of those marks, your picture is gonna come it's going to look foggy. So one of the biggest tips I can um, give you is before you take a picture, get some Windex or one of the, our alcohol pads and make sure that puppy is clean. That way your pictures come out uh, crisp and clear. A, co a couple of the apps that I use, and then again, later on tonight, I'll, I'll uh, share them. I use Facetune 2, PixArts, Lightroom, Word Swag for um, the, like the, the, um, the fonts, Canva, and this new one, if you guys want to try it and play out with play it, you know, play with it, it's called Pixel Loop. And you can go in there. Now I did pay a little extra um, to get all the like the bonus, but you can literally go in there and um, if you want, if I wanted to make my hair like literally move like a wave, that you can do that. Um, you can add all kinds of features. You would just have to play with it. So Let's see. I'm trying to think um, if there is anything else, but that's someone what I'm want, Oh, doing. sorry. Someone that. wanted to know if you uh, started a new Instagram or if you just started off or like went off of your personal one. Okay, so let me get back. Okay, so I was. <sighs> I used to have my own um, nail page. But I'm completely honest with you, between going to that nail page and my uh, my everyday uh, page, it be, for me, with all the kids and school, and it became overwhelming. So I kind of took Kelly France, if you know who Kelly France is, um, she's one of our top Color Street uh, um, stylists. She ended up just combining her life and her nails on one page. So what I'm going to try to do is do that, just leave little breadcrumbs. I mean, I won't always talk about um, Instagram. I mean, I won't always talk about the nails, but I'll always showcase the little bit breadcrumbs. So for me, this this is working. I already have my followers. I haven't lost any since I've been um, showcasing my nails. In fact, I've, I've gained a few. Uh, my goal right now is to really like, I, I wanna continue to post on my main board. I'm always on my IG stories. I'm always on today. I wasn't really because I was so nervous about today, but I'm always on my IG stories and I literally share my life. I got to concentrate more on the actual uh, board here, which, which I'm doing right, right now. Oh my God. But I mean, that's, I, I was going to make it short and sweet. I did it in 25 minutes, but if you, you guys have any like questions, um, 
I'm trying to open this so I can see everybody. Let's see. Okay. And don't be afraid, guys. One of the my stylists today gave me a great tip. If you're if you're nervous about selling the your polish strips, practice on your family and your friends first. Get really comfortable um, selling to them. That way, selling on social media can be a little easier and a little uh, natural. But honestly, I think I feel so comfortable on IG because literally what you see on my stories is what you see in real life. Like I didn't get dressed up for the, the uh, Zoom because this is how I look every day. Once in a while, I'll get dressed up for an occasion. Um, and when I do, I, I use it to take, you know, a nail fee. But you, you have something to offer, I, I promise you. Now, I know a lot of girls are like, well, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, you do, because you don't do this all day. You don't sit on your couch all day and do nothing. Some of you are freaking amazing bakers. So let me give you an example. If you kick ass, there's one girl I follow. She talks about politics. She's, um, she sells, um, what are those, um, essential oils, and she bakes. And she is badass. I mean, she, from top to finish, she'll teach you how to make fresh whipped cream. Her, her cakes are amazing. So if you're a baker, use that and incorporate your nails too. So an example, like let's just say you finish making this beautiful cupcake and giving value would be showing them how you make that frosting. What's your secret ingredient in that, in that frosting that makes it so like unique? But hold, they, but hold your the item while you're taking a picture. So there's two things that you can talk about. So I promise you, you guys have something to share. You just have to, uh, so I know a couple of girls, they're just not ready to go on um, social media and share. But if you're in this business, you have to figure out, is this a hobby? Or are you really here to make money? And if you're really here to make money, then you're going to have to think out of the box. You're going to have to share because you want to start a community and um, you're, you're going to have to let people into, into your reality in that if, if you want, like I said, if you want to make money, that's what you're, what you're going to have to do. So I just realized this is what I want to do. This is, a, I want to make it into a career. So I am thinking outside the box. I'm sharing, I'm leaving breadcrumbs. I'm not being, I'm not being a commercial. I'm being myself. I'm not trying to be anyone else because, like I said before, you don't want to be a watered-down version of someone else. I, I beg you guys, and again, I'm not hurting anyone's feelings. You have to showcase your own nails because if you're constantly, and I'm going to say this, if you're constantly sharing other people's uh, nail fees, constantly sharing, sharing, sharing someone else's nail fees, all you're doing is cross advertising for someone else. The people that follow you follow you for a reason and they want to see, you know, they want to see the nail sets on you. They want to see your excitement. We, all of us know how excited we were when we got our box. I, I know there's been times where I'll get my nails done so, like, they're so bomb. I'm like, oh my God, this set came out. It's fire. That excitement is the same thing that you have to broadcast to your, um, your family, your IG family, because they, they, they trust what you say if you're there in good faith, giving value, sharing tips. The, um, that's how you're going to get people to come and, and uh, either join your team or purchase stock from you. So is there, I, I can't see questions. No. Yvonne, help. <laughs> I don't, I can't see any questions and I don't know. Uh, I, I don't talk think about I see any right now. If you guys have a question, you guys can unmute yourself and ask it. She has lots of great advice to share. And the one thing that, what happened? Okay. Oh, the one thing that I'm doing now that my, my team is growing and um, I've ranked advanced, Color Street gives you in your back office training galore. And I feel like as a Color Street stylist, 
use that and learn everything you can about what you're selling. That way, if someone comes to you with a question, you're super confident and you have an answer. So I'm really now looking at the business um, side of it and really learning what needs to be done for my team in order to rank advance. So if they ask me a question, I know the answer. The other thing too that I'm working on, um, I wanna dive into Facebook parties. But again, I don't wanna copy I want to be inspired by like a party template, but I want to make it my own. So when you have a Facebook party, the people that invite are you uh, that are invited that know you make sure that your party is popping just like you are. That's so that's what I plan on doing. And I'm not going to do a, uh, an hour party. I'm going to make it short and simple 30 minutes in and out. Tell you what it's all about. Make some videos. That's another thing. <sighs> I gotta make time to make, I have never made a video on how I apply, my bad. I really need to do that. And I, um, I encourage you guys do, to do the same thing. Um, that's on my to-do list, but Facebook parties is another, it's, an, it's another category I'm gonna jump into. Um, someone, someone asked if your Instagram is public or private. So my Instagram, my Instagram is, uh, it's public anyone can anyone can dive in i don't i i keep it raw and real everybody um i've never had any problems i've never had any creepers personally um i do share since i have six children and they're on my instagram i'm just raw and real that way that no one can say anything i'll give you an example one of my children i, I is transgender is transgender so born a female went through the whole procedure it's on ig i asked permission had the top surgery and you can never ever ever tell that uh my son was born female but i share and that opens pandora's box to another community so i just i keep it i keep it public i don't have i haven't had any problems as as of yet i've made it very clear to that I won't tolerate any BS on my page. I, I made it on my IG, I, I just won't. And people have respected me and, and I, just, I just continue to share my love for like my obsession, my, what I geek out, which is the poly, the um, poly strip. So it's, it's, it's um, but again, you, if you feel uncomfortable, private, totally up to you. Everyone runs their business different. This, there's, this is such a baby company that sky's the limit. And guys, I want to tell you guys this. I'm going to be honest with you because I used to be a beach body coach. When they opened up to other countries, all the, all the top coaches that were top coaches at the time, they had competition. And at some point, this baby company is going to open up to Canada. It's going to go international. So you might as well figure out who you are, start branding yourself now. So um, you're ahead of the game. You know what I mean? How many times do you post daily? Okay. Um, on my IG stories, like again, today is not a great example if you go on, I need you to. Um, it, it varies, it depends on what's going on. Uh, IG stories, I can post anywhere from five to 10 stories, stuff. different, like different things that are going on. I'll, in the morning, I'll do a, like a video or a picture of the, I love vitamins. So I take vitamins. I on a bike ride. I, I'll videotape that. I'll do something, take a picture or something silly. My kids are doing talk about like raw. If something's going on with me, I'll talk about it. So I'm going through menopause right now. Are shrinking, you know. I paid my dues and I talk about the night sweats, I talk about um, the hormonal changes, I talk about how I get depressed. Um, people on my social media already know that I suffer from post um, traumatic syndrome after my brother was murdered. They see me through that journey, that's how I got into health and um, health and wellness because that's what saved my life. So, the people that have been following me for the past six years. They they know that about me because my I, IG is my outlet and it's somewhere I'm trying to build a community and again the, the polish strips are just a part of it.
So I'm sorry. So I post anywhere from five to 10. I'm really, I really want to post on my main board. At least I'm trying and I, I want to keep myself to this at least three times uh, a week. And again, that's going to go, that's going to take you back to who you are and what you nerd out about. That way you have to post. So I can post about 